Hi class! Good day sa inyo! So, welcome to my channel. So, today we will discuss introduction to pre-calculus. So, kung bago ka lang sa channel ko, subscribe ka na. Hit mo na yung subscribe button, then click mo na rin yung uh, notification bells para uh, notify ka kung meron akong bagong update lessons about mathematics. So, let us begin. So, introduction to pre-calculus. Learning competencies natin. The learners can demonstrate understanding in the key concept of pre-calculus. The learners can measure the distance between two points, their midpoint, and a point in a line. The learners can illustrate and find the slope of a line given two points, equation, and graph. And the learners can write the, the linear equation ax plus by is equal to c in the form of y is equal to mx plus b and vice versa. So, yan yung mga learning competency natin. So, let us proceed. Why do we need to study pre-calculus? So, bakit nga ba kailangan nating pag-aralan itong pre-calculus? So, bakit pwede naman direct yung calculus na bakit pre-calculus? So, yung unang kailangan natin pag-aralan. So, pre-calculus is composed of two words. Calculus saka pre. So, let us define those two words. So, by definition, calculus is a branch of mathematics concerned with the calculation of instantaneous rates of change and the summation of infinitely many small factors to determine the sum whole. So, napakahaba ng definitions niya. Yung instantaneous rates of change, ibig sabihin, yung um, inag, uh, sa calculus, ang pinag-aaral nyo dyan, measurements na uh, instantaneous rates. In terms of physics, that is the velocity. Yung movements daw kasi ng uh, moving objects, hindi yun at constant rate, meron yung changes. So, yung kinukompute sa calculus, yung, yung changes ng, uh, ng speed ng moving object. And then, the summation of infinitely small factors to determine the sum whole, yung, uh, let's say, um, paano natin kukunin yung areas and volume of a distorted objects or uh, objects na hindi, hindi siya classified sa plane geometry na which is a uh, square circle, distinct objects, yun siya. So, yun yung si calculus. How about the pre? Pre, a prefix occurring loan words from a Latin where it means before, preclude, prevent, applied freely as prefix with the meaning prior to, in advance of, early, beforehand, or in front of. So, pre, prefix siya, oh, yun by the words, before, so meaning, Pinag-aaralan natin yung pre-calculus is before calculus, before this definitions. So, before tayo mag-compute ng instantaneous rates, before tayo mag-compute mag ng summation of small factors, yung pag-determine ng areas and volumes ng uh, distinct objects, sa, ang pag-aaralan muna natin is yung before niyan. So, ibig sabihin yung mga prerequisites niyan, yung mga required lessons, niyang topic na yan. Kaya tayo binibigyan ng pre-calculus. So, ibig sabihin, pinaprepare tayo sa calculus. So, yung mga topics dito, uh, lessons na pagdating natin ng calculus, ay kakailanganin natin at dapat meron tayong competencies or ideas doon sa lesson, uh, sa topic na yun para pagdating natin ng calculus, hindi tayo mahihirapan. So, yun si pre-calculus. So, let us proceed. First thing na dapat nating malaman since pre uh, uh, prerequisite siya so ito yung kailangan natin dapat malaman before we proceed to calculus so straight lines uh, straight lines um pag-aaralan natin siya under siya ng analytic geometry which is a branch of geometry that deals with geometry problems using the cartesian coordinate system and transforming them into algebraic problems so pinag-aaralan sa analytic geometry yun nga no geometry itself Pero, problems na nasa Cartesian Coordinate System. So, ano ba yung Cartesian Coordinate System? So, Cartesian Coordinate System or Rectangular Coordinate System, it was named in honor to French mathematician René Descartes. Consider two per perpendicular lines. Let one of the line be the x-axis, horizontal line. The horizontal line, yung x-axis. And the other line be the y-axis or the vertical line. The x and y-axis together make up a make up the rectangular coordinate system. The intersection between the x and y axis represents the point of origin 0, 0. So, 
O, para mas ma-figure out natin ito yung tura ng Cartesian coordinate system or the Cartesian for uh, Cartesian phase. So, ang center niya, ang origin niya, that is the 0, 0. Then, uh, divided into four quadrants, quadrant 1, quadrant 2, quadrant 3, quadrant 4. We're in, uh, sa quadrant 1, ang, ang order pairs natin, yung x and y natin, that is the positive-positive. So, kung positive ka, both positive ang order pairs natin na automatic na sa quadrant 1. So, kung negative ang x, positive ang y, quadrant 2, both negative, quadrant 3, and then positive ang x, negative ang y, quadrant 4. So, yun yung Cartesian, or, uh, Cartesian plane na everything na ipat natin dyan at i-calculate natin that is the Cartesian coordinate system. So, yun. So, ngayon, for, for today, hindi naman tayo mag-aaralan yung mga card lines. So, pag-aaralan natin yung straight lines. So, let us proceed. First thing na uh, straight line, kapag uh, meron kang given line, so, ang pinag-aaral, uh, first thing na dapat natin matutunan doon is the distance formula. Tapos na tayo doon sa plotting na. Tapos i-calculus na tayo. So, we all know how to plot. Di ba? Pero, how to measure distance naman. Distance from two points is denoted as D or small letter D. So, yun siya yung ano ha. Nagre-represent for distance ng dalawang point. So, if two points lie on a line that is parallel to x-axis or horizontal line segment, ibig sabihin, kung meron tayong given two points dun sa Cartesian thing, at pag kinunik natin yun, ang mapuform nating line segment is a horizontal line. So, kung horizontal line daw yun, ang formula natin, that is d is equal to the absolute value of x sub 2 minus x sub 1. So, naka-absolute value kasi distance naman ang pinag-uusapan natin, distance between two points. Let us give an example. Sample number one, find the distance of a line with segments connecting the point A, 2, 6, and B, 10 and 6. So, first thing, graph natin siya. So, both positive dun sa point A natin, both positive. So, therefore, nasa quadrant 1 siya sa first quadrant. So, that is 2 and 6. So, nandun yung first point natin. Then, B natin, 10 and 6. Nasa quadrant 1 din siya kasi both positive. So, 10 and 6. Dapat nandito yung point. So, yun. So, kung meron daw 2 points at kapag ka naglalay siya sa isang line, so, ibig sabihin, pag kinunek natin yung dalawang point, nasa uh, naglalay siya sa line na parallel Itong line na to ay parallel sa x-axis that is a horizontal line segment. So, horizontal line segment yung na-form natin. Since horizontal line segment na form natin, ito yung form yung gagamitin natin. So, next thing to do is to associate. Kapag kaalam na natin kung anong line segment yung na-form natin, next thing to do is associate uh, ano yung x sub 2 natin at ano yung x sub 1. So, I suggest, I suggest na uh, kung ano yung first point nyo, ito yun yung x sub 1 nyo. Then, second point nyo, yun yung x sub 2. Para hindi kayo malito. So, yun yung pagpalit-palitin siya. So, yung given points natin dito sa given formula. So, let us proceed. Since ito ang x sub 2 natin, ito yung x sub 1. So, that will become the absolute value of... Uh, so, x sub 2 natin is 10. x sub 1 natin minus. x sub 1 natin is... Two. Regardless na yung kung ano yung y coordinates niya kasi ang na-form naman natin is horizontal line and which is sa horizontal line ang formula na natin is yung x coordinates na ang pinapansin natin. So, 10 minus 2, that is the absolute value of 8, which is absolute value of 8 is 8 also. So, since final answer na yun, nagay tayo ng words na unit since this type sa pinag-usapan natin. So, final answer natin is this equal to 8 units for point A and B. Let us proceed. So, how about point C and D? So, sa point A kasi, that is a horizontal line segment. Ito yung sinagutan natin kanina. Where in D is equal to 8 units. How about C and D? So, let us observe. Ano bang meron dun sa pairs ng A and B? Kasi sabi natin, ito point A and B, both horizontal line siya. And then, Point C and D, it is also considered as horizontal line segment. Paano natin masasabi na ang 
is some uh, pairs or coordinate pairs i horizontal line segment by looking the coordinates without uh, without graphing without graphing malalaman na natin so paano yon malalaman natin yon so take note class ha hindi na natin kailangan mag-graph madali natin malalaman kung ang given pairs of points is a horizontal line segment na form by considering their y coordinates kapag ka ang y coordinates ng two points ay the same equal Kapag ka-equal sila, automatic yung two points na kinoconnect natin ay horizontal line segment ang napoform natin itong line. So, since horizontal line segment ang napoform natin dito sa ano na to, kasi considering their points, their uh, y coordinates, which is both equal, so pwede na tayo proceed dun sa formula na horizontal line, which is this, equal to the absolute value x sub 2 minus x sub 1 wherein b is equal to, oh, so, x sub 2 natin, negative 4, minus 7. So, negative 4 minus 7, so, that is negative 11. Absolute value of negative 11, that will become positive. So, 11, since final answer yan, that, that will become 11 units. Oh, so, hindi natin kakalimutan yung 11 units. How about point E and F? How about point E and F? Oh, so, take note class. Ang isang point, ang, ang two points, kapag ka nakita natin ang y coordinates niya ay equal, automatic horizontal line segment yun. Ngayon naman, what if kung yung x coordinate naman yung equal? Kagaya na itong point E and F. So, uh, post natin si video, then try nyo muna i-graph. Try nyo i-graph sa itong point E and F. Then, uh, sabi nyo sa akin kung, uh, tingnan natin kung tama yung um, idea ko dito sa point E and F sa nakita nyo uh, na, na form yun yan. A few moments later. Okay. So, ang na form na, na point dito ng point E and F is a vertical line. By definition, so vertical line siya, by definition, if two points lie on a line that is parallel to y-axis or vertical line segment, patayo yung na, line na na form natin, so, formula naman natin doon, that is D is equal to absolute value of y sub 2 minus y sub 1. So, therefore, ito ay, since ito ay vertical line segment, ito yung gagamitin natin formula. So, paano ko naman malalaman kung without graphing, paano ko malalaman kung ang ordered pairs is a vertical line segment. So, kung sa horizontal line segment, at itingnan natin yung y coordinates, Sa vertical line segment, titignan natin yung x coordinates. So, without graphing, malalaman na natin kung um, vertical ba siya or horizontal by considering the coordinates. Kapag parehas ang y, horizontal. Kapag parehas ang x, vertical. As you can see, point E and F is the same in x coordinates. So, therefore, that is a vertical line segment. So, proceed tayo dun sa formula. So, ganun pa rin. Sa, uh, um, Associate kayo kung alin yung y sub 1 nyo and then a y sub 2. So, ganun pa rin yung una yung y sub 1, then pangalawa is y sub 2. So, d is equal to negative 3 minus 9. Which is negative 3 minus 9 is negative 12. Absolute value of negative 12, that is 12. Final answer natin, that is d is equal to 12 units. Find the distance of the line segment connecting the points g and h and then k and m. As you observe, Yung dalawang graph na yan, may dalawang points na yan, sa G and H, saka yung K and M, wala silang common in in terms sa X coordinates and then in terms sa Y coordinates. So, paano natin consider na ang points, uh, ang given, uh, ang mapoform ng dalawang given points ay vertical or horizontal. So, kung ganyan, na wala lang the same, that is a diagonal line segment. So, diagonal line segment na yan. Ang mapuform na natin dyan kapag hindi equal, diagonal line segment. By definition, if two points lie on a line that is neither parallel to the x-axis nor the y-axis, ibig sabihin, hindi siya parallel sa y, hindi rin siya par parallel sa x-axis, that is a diagonal line segment. Ito yung formula niya. Medyo mahaba-haba. Pero the same lang din yan. Uh, let us solve for d and h. For d and h, 
तो सबसे कितना बना देते हैं क्वानी एक सब वन एंड एक सब टू सो फिर फर्स्ट पॉइंट आ रहा है तो एक सब वन देन सेकंड पॉइंट आ रहा है दिस इज द एक सब टू नेक्स्ट दिस इज द आह एक सब टू दिस इज द वाइ सब टू रिंग है ना हाँ तो सिंस एक सब टू नेगेटिव थ्री माइनस पॉजिटिव फोर व्हिच इज एक सब वन आह वाइ सब टू दैट इज नाइन माइनस वाइ सब वन व्हिच इज सेवेन सो कंटिन्यू लग ना टेन so negative three minus four that is negative seven plus square. Naglagay kay lagi na open close parenthesis lalo na kung may negative. Kasi kung wala yung open close parenthesis, hindi sabi nyo na hindi square nila. Yung number hindi ka sa mga insign. Since dito ay nasa loob siya ng equation, so dapat yung answer natin mayroong open close parenthesis para kinukonsider natin kasama si sign sa ini square natin. So nine minus seven that is two squared. So seven squared that is forty nine. Forty nine plus four that is fifty three. Square root of fifty three that is seven point twenty eight units. So yung for G and H, how about K and M? So K and M, ganon pa rin. X sub two natin which is negative eight. X sub one natin is nine plus Y sub two natin negative seven minus Y sub one natin that is two. So combine negative eight minus nine. That is negative seventeen plus negative nine. So that is two hundred eighty-nine plus eighty-one. So that is d is equal to square root of three hundred seventy, and d is nineteen point twenty-four units. So that is a distance between two points. How about naman kung ang inaalam naman natin about midpoint? So, let P sub 1, X sub 1, Y sub 1, and P sub 2, X sub 2, Y sub 2 be the end points of a line segment. So, ibig sabihin niya P sub 1 saka P sub 2, yun yung dalawang dulo ng isang line segment. Let M, X sub X and Y be the midpoint of P sub 1 and P sub 2. So, yung gitna nila. So, yung midpoint formula, the idea of midpoint formula, ano yung locations or coordinates nung gitna ng dalawang point? Coordinates nung dalawang point na nasa gitna nila. So, meron tayong formula, pwedeng separate o kaya pwede rin namang sabayan. So, I suggest itong sabayan na lang yung pag-solve niya kasi para mas maiksi yung pag-solve. So, for example, find the midpoint of a line segment joining the points A, 2 and 6, and B, 10 and 6. So, ganun pa rin. Associate tayo ng x sub 1 and x sub 2. Then, substitute natin sa given formula. So, first points natin yung x sub 1, y sub 1. Second point natin, x sub 2, y sub 2. So, substitute. Substitute natin dyan. So, that will become 10 plus, eh, 2 plus 10. And all over 2. Then, 6 plus 6, all over 2. So, 10 plus 2. 2 plus 10, that is 12 over 2, and then 12 over 2, so that is midpoint natin, that is 6 and 6. So midpoint ng dalawang na point E and B, that is 6 and 6. Okay, ganun lang kung mag-compute ng midpoint formula. Hindi na ako bibigay ng another pang example, ha? Dali lang naman siya. So, how about slope of a line? It is a number that measures its steepness. And it's usually denoted by the letter letter M, so small letter M. So it is also known as gradient. It is the change in y for a unit change in x along the line. So the slope down in number. So you can say you can compute the number. So number yung pagka once na inaplay natin sa computation nito, yung number na magkuha natin yun. Ang ra na represent niya yung steepness or yung tarik. So, kung na-review yung word na tarik, gano'n ba siya ka-slant yung uh, isang uh, yung uh, isang line, gano'n ba siya ka-slant or ano ba yung stiffness ng line na yun. So, ito yung formula niya. Rise over run or y sub 2 minus y sub 1 or x sub 2 minus x sub 1. Wherein, ang slope ay nahati sa apat. Pwede siyang, kapag ka nag-compute tayo, pwede tayo mabigyan ng number na positive. Kapag ka-positive yung nakuha natin uh, answer, 
that is ang slope niya when slope is positive then the the graph is leaning to the right uh, so pa right yun once na nagcompute tayo using this formula ang nakuha natin is positive ang graph niyan ay papuntang right then kapag ka naman ang nakuha natin is negative ang graph niyan is papuntang left Kapag ka na-compute natin is zero, exactly zero yung nakuha natin, that is a horizontal line. At kapag ka naman ang na-compute natin dito is undefined, so that is that will become vertical line. So yun yung mga itsura ng mga graph natin na napoform using slope of a line. So using this formula, yung makukuha natin dyan, yung makuform na graph dyan ito. Depende dun sa makukompute natin. So, Let us give an example. So find the slope of, a, of the line connecting the given pairs of points. A3, uh, 4 and 3, and B is negative 5 and 1. So connect natin. Uh, so this is the formula. So, ganun ulit, associate ulit tayo. So paulit-ulit lang naman yan. Associate tayo. This is the x sub 1, y sub 1. This is the x sub 2, y sub 2. So... That will become 1, so y sub 2 natin, 1. Minus 3, which is y sub 2 natin, all over negative 5, which is x sub, 1, eh, x sub 2 natin. Minus x sub 1, which is 4. So, yun yun. Oh, so, m natin, negative, uh, 1 minus 3, that is negative 2. 5 minus, uh, 5 minus 4, that is 9. So, both negative, negative divided by negative, that will become... 2 over 9, positive 2 over 9. So, kahit hindi nyo na-fraction kapag ka-slope, kasi nga, di ba, by definition kanina, naka-rise over line siya. So, much better na ganyan na lang yung answer kasi para identify natin ilan yung pa-rise at ilan yung pa-run. So, yun yun. Ay, sa slope. How about another example? Point A, A negative 4 and B is negative 7. Uh, B is negative 7 and 3. So, So, post natin itong video, then try to compute. Tingnan natin kung parehas yung sagot ko sa sagot ko. So, let us resume. How about, so, substitute lang natin sa formula, then, follow, tingnan natin, that is 3, 4, minus, minus, negative 6. Kung makapapansin nyo, naglagay ako ng open close parenthesis kasi yung negative dito, that is if operation. Then, we sign tayo ng negative doon. So, maglagay tayo ng open close parenthesis. So, nag-indicate nag, nag yan na dapat i-distribute natin si negative doon sa negative. And so, that will become 3 minus 4, negative 1. All over 7. 1, negative minus, ne uh, negative multiplied by negative, that is positive. So, That will become both negative 1 over negative 7 plus 6, that is negative 1. Negative 1 divided by negative 1, that is, M natin is 1. Since positive ang answer natin, so therefore, ang line natin na na-form dyan, that is leaning to the right. So, yun yan ha. So, yun yung slope of a line. So, line. Mga sa kanina pa natin ginagamit, pero yun lang natin dinidefine. No? So, a series of point, X and Y, In the Cartesian coordinate system, the equation of a line that describes uh, a series of uh, any value of x and that can be assigned in the equation so that there is a corresponding value of y, vice versa. So linear equation is an equation in which both variable x and y have exponent in the first degree or raised to 1. So kapag ka line ang pinag-usapan natin, yung equations niya, yung linear equations, ang x and y variables niya daw, dapat nasa first degree. So, ibig sabihin kung naging x squared na yan or naging y squared na yan, that is now considered as a quadratic equation or other equation. So, non-linear equations na sila. Consider as non-linear equations na sila. Ano nga ba formula natin dyan? So, and meron tayong general equation of a line. ax plus by plus c is equal to zero. Then, standard equation of a line, ax plus by is equal to c, where a, b, and c are all integers, and a, b, a and b cannot be both equal to zero. So, ibig sabihin, pwedeng, uh, numbers yung a, b, and c na yan, 
So constant siya, coefficient siya, pwede yung a and b ko is ito, coefficient ng variable. So pwede siya, pwede maging zero yung a, o kaya pwede maging zero yung b, pero cannot be both equal to zero. So pwede, a lang, so nyari, a lang ang zero dito, so that will become by plus a is equal to zero. That is also considered as linear equation. And then, kung b lang, so kung b lang ang zero dito, ang matitara dyan, ax plus c is equal to zero. That is also considered as linear equation. Pero yung both silang zero, hindi yun makukonsider as linear equation. So, let us proceed. So, meron tayong uh, tatlong formulas na pwedeng gamitan ng lines. So, point slope form. Sabihin, given a point and given a slope, ito yung point slope natin. Ito yung equations natin. So, pwede natin post yung uh, video, then copy natin yung mga formula. So, pagka slope intercept form, y is equal to mx plus b, where m is the slope of the line. Discuss nga natin yung kanina. So, b is the y intercept. Oh, so, yung pinag-intercepan ng point. Sa y intercept, ibig sabihin sa at vertical line, so sa y, sa y axis, kung saan eksaktong dumaan yung line. Yun yung y intercept, which is represented as b. So, distance between a point and a line. The shortest distance between the uh, the line and the point so, is the perpendicular line connecting the point and the given line. So, if we say if we give a line, tapos merong point outside the line. Kung gusto natin alam niyo yung distance between the point and the line, so yung given point na outside the line na yon, yung pinakamalapit na distance don. This is the formula. Take note, dapat yung given equations natin, yung given equation of the line is dapat nasa general form. Where in ax plus by plus c is equal to zero, dapat nasa ganyang form. So, kapag ka nasa standard form pa siya, convert natin siya sa general form. So, ito yung formula. Yeah. Tingnan natin, bigay tayo ng given uh, examples about isang point na yan. So, number one, find the equation of a line in general form passing the point 5 and 2 with a slope of a uh, slope of negative 6 so ito meron na naglabasan na yung mismo answer so since given ang point at given ang slope and given ang point and given ang slope so point slope form ang gagamitin natin so formula na to so same lang din substitute lang natin bawat isa so slope natin negative 6 so y sub 1 natin that is 2 x sub 1 natin that is 5 and yan ha yung y sa x din di pinapalitan kasi serve as variable yan. So, ang natin, transform natin. So, that is negative 6 times x, negative 6x, negative 6 times negative 5, that is 30. Combine natin yung dalawang, dalawang constant. So, negative 2 and 30. So, since nandito sa negative 2, so, transpose natin dyan, that will become positive. So, 30 plus 2, that is 32. So, ang tanong dito is general form. Line, an equation of the line in general form. So, since itong answer na to ay hindi pa siya na sa general form, which is ang general form is ax plus dy plus is equal to zero. So, kailangan natin i-convert pa siya into general form. So, tatranspose natin lahat to dito sa right side. Or dito sa left side. So, from negative 6, magiging positive 6 plus y. From neg uh, positive 32, that will become negative. Minus 32 is equal to 0. So, this is our final answer. 6x plus y minus 32 is equal to 0. So, yun yung for problem number 1. How about problem number 2? Find the equation of a line in standard form with slope of 5 and y-intercept of 3. So, meron tayong given ng slope. Given ang y-intercept, so, huwag na tayo lumayo. So, that will become slope-intercept form. So, ang slope-intercept form, y is equal to mx plus b. So, meron na tayong slope na given. Meron na rin tayong y-intercept. So, that will become y is equal to 5x plus 3. <laughs> Yun na siya. Ganun siya kadali. Pero ang tanong, find the equation of a line in the standard form. So, Nasa standard form ba siya? Kung papansin natin siya, wala siya sa standard form. So, convert muna natin siya sa standard form, which is ax plus by is equal to c. So, transpose natin to Ang titanan lang dapat dito is 3. 
So that will become negative 5x plus y is equal to 3. Yung ibang uh, book, sinasabi kailangan nakapositive pa si ax. So ang gagawin nilang naman din is multiply both sides by uh, negative. Pero kahit hindi naman, okay lang pa rin. Okay naman yung solution to. Yung iba, mas, mas gusto pa lang, mas prepared. Yung nakapositive naka si 5x, okay lang naman yun. So kung gagawin mong positive yan, that kailangan mag-multiply ka ng negative both sides. So yun. How about problem number 3? Find the distance between the point 10 and 14 and, and the line 8x minus 6y plus 16 is equal to 0. So, ayun lang yan. Nap nap Napakadali. May point tayo, may line tayo. So, therefore, distance between a point and a line. Formula na gagamitin natin dyan. That's d is equal to the absolute value of ax sub 1 plus by sub 1 plus c all over the square root of a squared plus b squared. So, substitute lang natin yan. Kailangan natin i-locate kung ano a, b, c, and then yung x sub 1, then y sub 1. So, uh, ganun lang naman. Ito yung equation natin. So, therefore, ang a natin is 8, b natin is negative 6, c natin is 16. Take note, dapat itong line na to, since ito yung nasa general form, automatic, pwede na kayo mag-associate. Pero kapag ka ito yung nasa standard form, ibig sabihin nakadistribute yung, ay nakatranspose si 16 doon sa kabilang side. Kailangan siya i-transpose muna dito. Kasi naka-standard form yun. Kailangan ganito yun yung muna siya nasa general form. Bago kayo mag-associate ng A, B, and C. So, yung given point, that will become x sub 1, then y sub 1. Yun yun. So, substitute lang natin with some given formula. So, kung gusto nyo i-post yung video, post nyo yung video, then substitute nyo. Tingnan nyo kung yung substitution ko is equal dun sa substitution nyo. So, let us begin. So, 8 ko, 8 times 10, which is x sub 1. Yun yun, nandun. Plus, negative 6 times 14 plus 16. So, absolute value nyo all over 8 uh, square root of a squared plus negative 6 squared. So, 8 times 10, that is 80, plus negative 6 times 14, that's negative 84, plus 16 all over square root of 64 plus 36. So, it's squared yung bawat isa. So, next, that's 80 minus 84 plus 16, all over 64 plus 36. So, 80 minus 84, that is negative 4, plus 16, that is 12. So, 12 all over 64 plus 36, that is 100. So, absolute value of 12 over square root of 10, that is 12, 12 over 10. Since distance naman pinag-usapan natin, pwede natin um, express siya at, at least 2 decimals. So, that is 1.20 units. Pares ba yung sagot niya sa sagot ko? I hope pares tayo nagiging sagot. How about next example? Find the distance between the point negative 4 and 6 and a line 3x plus 4y plus 10 is equal to 0. So the same lang rin, distance between a point and a line. This is the formula. So post nyo yung video, then try to compute, substitute natin, ano ba yung a, b, and c natin dito sa given problem natin, then um, x sub 1, second y sub 1, then try natin to solve. A few moments later. So ito yung a, b, and c ko, that is 3, 4, and 10. Then, yung x sub 1 ko, that's negative 4. Y sub 1 ko, that is 6. So, substitute lang natin yan. Ayan. And then, next, that is neg 3 times negative 4, that's 12. Plus 4 times 6, that is 24. Plus 10, all over 3 squared, that's 9. Plus 4 squared, that is 16. So, this is equal to the absolute value. Combine lang natin lahat yan. Negative 12 plus 24, that is positive 12, plus 10, that is 22. All over the square root of 9 plus 16, that is 25. So, 22 over 5. Distance natin, that is 4.40 units. So, that ends our discussion. Thank you for watching. I hope na may natutunan kayo for, this, uh, for today. Thank you for watching.